Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google's Jewels has been getting some upgrades over the past week. They called it Jewels Week or something, and I thought I'd talk about this because it's actually so good now. First of all, Jewels is now out of beta. Previously, it was in beta, and every person who tested or used Google Jewels during the beta period will be getting three months of Google Pro for free which is awesome. So, if you were using it, then you should have received the Pro subscription for three months. You can go ahead, redeem it, and use it. It's really cool to see this from Google. Anyway, if we talk about all the changes, then starting from August 4th, we first got the option to open pull requests directly from Jules. Previously, it used to only create a separate branch for the feature request, and you had to open a pull request manually to get it merged. Now, you can open a pull request directly from Jules, get it reviewed, and then just hit one button to merge it into the main branch, which is also pretty awesome. So, this is a great addition. Moving up, we also got environment snapshots for faster tasks. Basically, when you start a task on a new repo, you were able to add environment scripts needed to set up your project. Jules could run them, test everything, but when it booted the VM again for a new task, it used to run those commands again, which made it slow. However, now it actually captures a snapshot of the VM with the environment already set up, so it can quickly boot up a virtual machine with everything ready to go and do your tasks quickly. So, this is also a nice touch. Then, Jules also came out of beta and now gives you 15 tasks per day and three concurrent tasks for free, while on the AI Pro plan, you get 115 tasks respectively per day, and Ultra has an even higher limit. The plans are not specific to Jules, but it's now included in the Google AI plan. So, that's great. You can also now create an agent's markdown file to steer it to work in a certain way. Then, if we move up, we can see one of the features that I really like. This one is the option to preview the work via Joule. Previously, Joules could work on projects, but to test it, you'd always have to clone the branch locally and then test it yourself. However, now you can easily ask it to verify its work and it'll render the website and send you back a screenshot. You still can't interact with the website, but it's still fine nonetheless. It uses Playwright for this, and it can do front-end testing as well. Then came another super good feature, which is the Critic Agent. Critic Agent is basically like a code quality reviewer agent that looks at the code Jules writes and then gives it feedback about how it can be faster, more secure, or just better in any way. This means you'll get even better results than before. The Jules Critic is integrated directly into the generation process. Every proposed change undergoes adversarial review before completion. The Critic flags subtle bugs, missed edge cases, and inefficient code. Jules then uses this feedback to improve the patch in real time. The critic is not just another linter or test. It understands the intent and context behind code, similar to a human peer reviewer. This feature draws on research into multi-step, tool interactive critiquing, and actor-critic reinforcement learning, where an actor generates and a critic evaluates. So, it's not just a system-prompted agent, but rather a fine-tuned model based on reinforcement learning. So, that's great. Another thing that was added after this is the interactive plan option. Previously, you used to get the plan before starting a task, but now you can actually chat with Jules first to build a plan that's structured exactly around how you want it to go, instead of having to define everything in the task box itself. So, this is also great. Another thing is that Jules can now surf the web. It can find the latest documentation 
for dependencies or libraries you're using and proactively find examples or code snippets that can help inform its implementation. So, this is also great if your project uses something new and it's not in its knowledge base. Now, let me show you these features in action as well. But before proceeding, let me tell you about NinjaChat. NinjaChat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-4.0, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First of all, once you come to Jules, you can obviously see everything here just as usual. But you can see the code icon option here. And if you click this, it will allow you to configure the environment. This was available earlier, but now it will save the snapshot of the machine image, and it won't run these commands each time. Instead, it will just do it once and then boot up that image each time. Anyway, if we come here, then we'd have to give it a task. I'm going to ask it to do something here. You can now also ask it to search for docs according to your prompts if it's something new. So, you can do that now. Now, you can either send it directly, and it will propose a plan, or you can hit this three-dot button, and it will show you the option of using interactive mode. I'll select it and send it, and what you'll see is that it will boot up the virtual machine, and then go ahead and start to work on it. It will ask me for some clarifications here if I need them, which is quite awesome as well. Then, it will go ahead and start to work on it, it can also now do web searches and everything as well. Once the task is done, I can now ask it to make a pull request, which is awesome. But you can also ask it to send you a screenshot of the app and how it looks, and then it will go ahead and, in a bit, send you that, which you can look at. That's also awesome. Also, when it writes code, a critic agent now looks at it and asks for some good changes or suggestions, which is quite awesome as well. That is majorly how it works. I really liked it and thought I'd tell you guys about it as well, because it is really amazing for sure. Go ahead and use these new features. It is really good now. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.